Arcade Heroes. This is Flashlight of the Evil by Sealy Games. When I saw pictures of this cabinet last year, I really wanted to check the game out, but I had to wait until this IAPA to do so. Developed by Chinese company Silly Games, not to be confused with the Silly Mattress Company, it's a horror-themed game that originally used flashlight controllers in the place of light guns, but at this show they changed those out to zero-plus developed light pistols. The flashlight holders were still present in the cabinet, however. It's also supposed to be a stereoscopic 3D game, but I could not find any attached 3D glasses. Fortunately, you could shut that part off and just play it as 2D. It also has a wind blower that uh, blows in your face at certain parts. So they were obviously aiming for a Dark Escape 4D type feel here. In starting the game, you have a choice for story in free mode. I just tried out the story where translated subtitles give you a little idea of what's going on, which from what I played didn't really go much beyond the characters discussing the situation of stumbling across dark creatures. There are a few different weird creatures you come across, but I think the gun I was using had some issues as it was not always functioning properly. One interesting feature, at least, was the ability to switch your flashlight mode, but I couldn't tell if the, it was the gun or the software that was causing some of the issues. The software was certainly imperfect, as at one point when changing scenes, the screen did the resolution shutoff switch that you tend to see when adjusting the resolution on your PC. Fixing some of that for a smoother experience and getting the hardware figured out would be ideal if they plan on releasing this in the West. When it worked, though, it was interesting as I came across a variety of enemies in the short time I played. I probably should have spent more time with this one, but I didn't get around to it as I had other things to check out at the show, and what was there with this game didn't keep me interested long enough to go beyond filming this. Thanks for watching, and check out my YouTube channel for more videos of new arcade games.